What do you think? What do you think when you woke up this morning? Or actually yesterday, wasn't well, it? Well, it's it's all slightly absurd, isn't it? But I did feel that you know, I I'm in a really privileged position, James, that I can I can actually you know push back and be vocal about this. Yes. Um, and I felt you know it was my obligation to do so for other women because they certainly don't have the, those chances because it may be their boss. Uh, you know, it may be colleagues where they feel they don't want to rock the boat, but it is absurd. And obviously, you know, uh, hashtag everyday sexism, but that's, you know, it's a classic example in that I was at the dispatch box with a really important point of order about press freedoms and people want to talk about my shoulder. And so my suggestion is that I was obviously saying something right because they want to distract from what I'm well, saying. Oh, so, you well, know, yes, lots of yes right-wing no. press are having a field day. Well, so are some of the centrists. I mean, there isn't really much left-wing press in this country, but the, that's a conversation for a different day. But even the organs that you were essentially defending, the ones that were targeted by the uh, Downing Street's attempts to bar reporters from a Brexit briefing, mm. e- even they would find it easier to editorialise upon your sartorial choices mm. than upon the content of your speech, which is just, just sort of a zeitgeist tragedy, really, isn't it? Because well, t- what you were saying is desperately important. But it's also, it was ever thus, um, the uh, Girl Guiding Association a couple of years ago did a survey um, talking to young girls, and one in six felt ashamed about how they looked. Yes. So, you know, women are, they're too fat, they're too thin, they're too plain, they're too good-looking because they're distracting. You know, they are too authoritative, they're not... It is always about how we are, how we present ourselves rather than what we say. It is a challenge for women in politics. It certainly is. And so are, the- you, are, you, are you silver lining this? experience then you're actually turning a, a relative negative into a positive well to be honest it's an opportunity to talk about it is. um sexism Just for and, the and record if i'd bumped into you in the lift and you weren't in the newspapers because of this story i still would have wanted to drag you into the studio to talk about the speech that you gave in the broader questions Great, about the bbc very nice to hear that. No, absolutely yeah, categorically yeah. no no doubt whatsoever and if i didn't my producer would have done but um but but you know we're here and that is one of the reasons why you're in the news today did you did it cross your mind when you when you when you got dressed yesterday that you were doing something potentially controversial uh, no not even a tiny bit no what crossed my mind is that i had a meeting with uk music yes. and it was my first opportunity to meet my st- the, the stakeholders who seem very pleased that i have this role we had a fantastic meeting the thing about a point of order or even an urgent question is it comes as a, um out of the business yes. so you're not always um uh anticipating it so sometimes you are on, on the back foot in my case i'm on the right hop <laughs> <laughs> um, great if you'd faked a broken leg just to, just to soften just up to soften up media screens <laughs> you're dear. in the spotlight the, i mean the point is fundamentally tom watson my predecessor if he was stood there he would be taken it's it, with gravitas and seriousness that this statement requested and this is just such a great diversion because i'm a woman and this is you know it, it's as blatant as that the, well it's a wonderful comparison because i spoke to tom the other day and he told me that when he shed all that weight mm-hmm. then there was ribbing in the house of commons so nicholas Soames, for example would well, before he lost all the weight nicholas Soames, who had lost a lot of weight would offer to give tom watson his old suits or something like that yeah. but that would be banter between boys and it would be mm. contained to the chamber comments about your appearance, criticism of your uh, sartorial choices, is is front page news. It's absolutely bonkers. It, it is bonkers. And certainly when there is other uh, examples of disrespect, like uh, Jacob Rees-Mogg asleep on the front bench with his feet up, you know, there are other things that I would absolutely on, say. I dare you. Are I disrespectful. Do that. Do, that, do that tomorrow. I do, right? I do see have, what happens. <laughs> I do have a little uh, uh, stool that I put my foot on, so maybe that's <laughs> heading in that direction.